Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark Roden, and today we are going to be going over the best sedans for every budget. This is a new series, so let me explain it before we get into it a little bit. Uh, first is we're going to start off with $25,000, and then we're going to work our way down. So for everybody that wants a sedan but has different budgets, this video is for you. So if you have a budget of $4,000, well, I'll tell you what I think is the best sedan for under $4,000. If you have a budget for $7,000, well, I'll tell you the sedan that I think is the best for under $7,000. And you guys get the idea. We're going to start at twenty-five k, then go to twenty, then fifteen, then ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one thousand dollars. Hope you guys are excited. By the way, yesterday I did not upload. I want to apologize for that. I, I, I cannot even ex begin to explain how unlucky our family has been recently. We have been going through hell. We lost power yesterday. That's the reason I didn't upload. Look outside. Man, it's snowy. It's just a winter wonderland out there. It just snowed two feet. Two feet yesterday. That's like the size of... I don't know, something that's two feet long. I don't know, but it's it's ridiculous. So we lost power. We had no Wi-Fi, so I couldn't upload. Um, but yeah, we we're just going through all this kind of stuff. Now my cat also is in surgery right now. We had to pay $2,000 to get him through surgery because he has some urinary tract. It's crazy, boys. It is crazy out here. But either way, let's get right into the video with the $25,000 sedan. All right, so coming in at the $25,000 spot for you. First of all, if you're watching my video and you have a $25,000 budget, what are you doing? <laughs> you're crazy, man. 25 k that's your budget? I, I've never even had 25k, but either way, 25k, in my opinion, the best one is the BMW 650i F13. Uh, I love the F13 6 Series. I love any 6 Series, to be honest, especially the E24. Oh, that is so gorgeous. But the F13 is such a bargain deal right now. They come with a 4.4 liter V8, making 445 horsepower, and it is rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. You kind of get that option, which is nice. Thank you, BMW, for doing that. We really appreciate it. And like I said before, the F13 is quick it's luxurious it looks awesome you can modify it now the only thing that is a big 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 downside is those german v8s you know usually not the most reliable motors out there just gonna just gonna put that out there for under twenty thousand dollars i think the best budget sedan out there not really budget because 20k is pretty expensive is the nissan skyline gtst r32 obviously i tried to keep everybody in mind here that's why there's multiple like jdm cars and euro cars not many american cars because not many cool american sedans so that's why they're not here but and obviously also every one of these entries are going to be a different car so that people have a bunch of things to choose from but either way the r32 gtst not gtr comes with a two liter turbocharged inline six making 215 horsepower and it is rear wheel drive a lot of people use these as drift cars and for good reason they come with an rb not the rb it's an rb20 not the rb26 but still a good motor to build uh they're rear wheel drive so they like to get sideways and they're they use to be at least cheap cars that you could just slide around into walls nowadays yeah they're getting a little expensive but if you get a four-door skyline it's probably the cheapest way you're getting into a skyline all right for under fifteen thousand dollars however in my opinion the best budget sedan is going to the subaru wrx raptor i where i'm from these cars are like Camrys. They are everywhere. I live up in Connecticut. Obviously, you guys just saw in the intro there that there's a bunch of snow on the ground. So everybody needs something that's all-wheel drive. And they love these WRXs, man. They're freaking, they love them. Personally, I got a little burnt out on them since I saw them all the time. But they are still a great car. They come with a 2-liter turbocharged flat 4, making 268 horsepower. And it is all-wheel drive. 268 horsepower for under $15,000. Yeah, that's a little questionable. Definitely. I mean, it's like you could get a lot bigger horsepower numbers for that price but you're paying for everything else with the car too it's really good off-road i mean it literally has rally heritage to it it has all the space that you could possibly need in a sedan at least it looks incredible has tons of aftermarket customization for it you can go anywhere you can go rally route the stance route track route you can do whatever you want with the wrx and it'll work so that, that's more what you're paying for with this car for under ten thousand dollars however i think the best sedan is the bmw 328i f30 the f30 man underrated sedan people don't understand these things are already sitting under 20 or sitting under 10k at least the 328 eyes are not like the 335 eyes which are the ones that obviously everybody wants but if you still want like just a nice comfortable cool looking car to daily drive they're already under 10k and it's mind-blowing they come with a two liter turbocharged inline four making 240 horsepower and it is rear wheel drive or all wheel drive i'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys it's not that impressive you know this is like a 2016 bmw and it's making 240 horsepower a little a, it leaves a little bit to be desired that's for sure but it's once again not really meant for that it's luxurious it's pretty reliable. I know everybody thinks that BMWs are unreliable, but trust me, they're not. Uh, and it looks incredible. 
For under $9,000, I believe that the Honda Accord 9th generation is your best bet, my friend. On Honda Accords, man, are so slept on. Honda in general is relatively slept on. Like, obviously, everybody knows the Civics are very popular, but everything else, like the Preludes, the Integras, the Accords, the CRVs, even such underrated cars, but the Accord stands out from the rest of them because no one buys Accords anymore, and it's it's, it's mind blowing. They come with a 3.5 liter V6, making 278 horsepower, and it is front wheel drive. That's good. Now it has everything else that's good about it too. Okay, reliable as hell because it's a Honda. Obviously, it's going to be cheap as hell because it's a Honda. Obviously, it's good on gas. So everything about practicality and reliability wise, it's amazing for. But then it has 278 horsepower in a 3.5 liter V6 in a very decent looking car with tons of aftermarket support and relatively comfortable. Like what is there not to like about these Honda Accords, man? Don't sleep on the Honda Accords. For under $8,000, this one's going to hit you out of left field a little bit. I, I bet you guys were not expecting this car to be on the list, but it's a Mitsubishi Galant VR4. Now, the reason I've, I I like the Galant, you guys know I like the Galant, but I never really talk about the Galant in my videos. And the reason why I never talk about them is because I always thought that they were super expensive, like super overpriced, because they should be, but they're not. Like, yes, they are still a little overpriced, but these cars should be like in the 20Ks, I thought at least, but they're freaking under 8K, man. It's mind blowing. They come with a two liter turbocharged inline four, making 195 horsepower, and it is all wheel drive. Now, the Galant, back in the 90s, Mitsubishi did this thing where they're all like, hey, Everybody likes our Evo. The engine in our Evo is great. Let's put the Evo engine in literally everything else. So the Galant VR4 does not have that Evo engine in it, but it does have Evo parts on it. And so it's 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 incredible for making power. It's all wheel drive too, so you can have total fun off road and do whatever you want with it. Now, in terms of like reliability and, and practicality, probably not the best, but who cares? You have a Galant VR4. For under $7,000, this is the only American car on this list. It is the Dodge Neon SRT4. SRT4 Neons are flying up in price. So not only are they A, a pretty good investment because you can sell them for more later, but B, they're a very, still a very fun and probably on its last legs, to be honest. Like I feel like in a couple of month, a couple of years here, these SRT4s are going to be like all projects. Right now, there's still some out there that are decent enough to buy and drive right off the lot. But buy them now it comes with a 2.4 liter turbocharged inline four making 230 horsepower and it is front wheel drive the srt4 actually shares the same motor as my pt cruiser but with a turbocharger on it which is hilarious i know but that turbocharger makes that engine just ridiculous i i never thought i would say that a pt cruiser can be fast but they can be fast okay so even it's it just if you modify this srt4 dude you're lightning lightning speed for all the gentlemen looking for a sedan under $6,000, I have the option for you, friend, the Lexus IS300. IS300s can be found for like literally any price, depending on the mileage. You can find one for like $2,000, but it's going to have like 250,000 miles, or you can find one for like $10,000, but it's going to be in like mint condition. It's mind blowing. Either way, though, they're usually right around the $6,000 mark, and they come with a 3-liter inline 6, making 225 horsepower, and it is rear-wheel drive. That motor is a 2JZ GE, not the GTE, so don't get your hopes up a little bit there. Don't get your, you know, don't start perking up on me now, but it's still a pretty good motor. A lot of people say that they can build uh, the 2JZ GEs up to around 500 horsepower before having to touch internals, which is very decent, and these are just an incredible little drift car, little, you know, street car, and, uh, considering the fact that they're so reliable cheap and just fun to drive and it's just a good option for 6k man for under five thousand dollars however i believe that the best budget sedan is going to the bmw 328i e90 god bless bmw and god bless the people that buy them because these cars depreciate so fast dude these are like late 2000s cars and they're already under five thousand dollars my friend bought one with only 120,000 miles on it for 2500 bucks and it was perfectly fine no issues thank god for depreciation man it is mine it is amazing i love it either way the e90 comes with a three liter inline six making 240 horsepower and it is rear wheel drive or all wheel drive for the longest time i thought this car came with a 2.8 liter until one of somebody in my comments was like this guy doesn't know what he's talking about and then i looked it up and he was right i didn't know what i was talking about uh but either way the e90 is incredibly slept on right now just like every single bmw ever made it give it like five more years and these cars are going to be very wanted just like how the e36 is wanted now so why not buy them ahead of the curve you know they're at probably one of the lowest points that they're going to get to right now these e90s maybe two more years and they'll be even cheaper but i don't see that happening too frequently so once again another very good investment very reliable i know and a decent little car 
For under $4,000, I believe that the Subaru Impreza 2.5 RS GC chassis code, whatever they call it, there's so many of them, there's like GC8, GC5, GC6, GC7, GC100, a million, it's crazy, there's so many GCs, but the GC chassis code, Impreza 2.5 RS, in my opinion, is the best sedan under $4,000. They come with a 2.5 liter flat four, making 165 horsepower, and it is all wheel drive. This is obviously, you know, the w or Impreza model that was like, really praised because they had the 22 BSTI and it's sadly even though it doesn't have all the you know get up that this 22 BSTI or even the WRX has the 2.5 RS is still a very fun car to drive in terms of reliability it's not going to be all there just because these are very old and they are a Subaru so you know head gasket issues are a little bit scary and most likely for under 4k the ones that are going to find are going to have high miles but either way they look cool and they could definitely be a fun little project would I recommend this as like a first car probably not though for under $3,000, I personally believe that the Infiniti G35 sedan is going to be your best option. These G35 sedans are absolutely underrated right now just because they don't look that great. And I'm going to be honest. I agree. They don't look that great. Okay, I, I said it. I said it. But if you want a G35 coupe or if you want a 350Z, but you don't want to pay G35 coupe and 350Z money, G35 sedan is easily your best bet. They come with a 3.5 liter V6, making 287 horsepower in its rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. Obviously, I would recommend getting the rear wheel drive version. It's also not hard at all to find one of these a manual because this is back in the early 2000s, so everything was manual back then. And they, yes, they look hideous, but they're a sedan. So now you have more space. You can fit your buddies in it. Imagine drifting and you're like, this is so much fun. I wish I could have my buddies in the car with me. And then the G35 sedan comes out and is like, I can solve that issue. That's what it does, man. You drift, have fun with your friends. If you're in high school, this is an amazing opportunity for you. Pick one up. All right, we're getting down to the hoopties now, by the way. For the last, like, four cars, the ones that you're going to find for under their price point is going to have, like, high miles and be pretty beat up. And for under 2K, I believe that the Audi A4 B6 is your best option. But once again, just know that almost any car under $2,000 is going to have serious issues. It's, and I just want to make that very clear before someone's like, you're not finding an A4 B6 under 2K without over 150,000 miles. Yeah, obviously, man. Okay, you're not finding any car under 2K with over with less than 150,000 miles. Either way, the B6 A4 comes with a 1.8 liter turbocharged inline four, making 148 horsepower, and it is all-wheel drive. Pretty decent. Nothing super crazy. You're not going to win any crazy races with this. It looks pretty decent as well. Definitely my least favorite generation of the Audi 4 Series, though, if I'm being... Or the 4 line? Is that what they call them? The A4 line? I don't know what the heck they're calling them nowadays, but you know what I'm saying. Um... It's just an average good car, and it can be fun. It's all-wheel drive, so I guess that helps. And it can be pretty reliable, too, as long as you take care of it. Speaking of reliability, in my opinion, the finale of this video, the best car for less than $1,000, even though, yes, it, every car under $1,000 is going to be an absolute hoopty on wheels, it is the Honda Civic 7th generation. The 7th gen Honda Civic gets a lot of hate because it's definitely the ugliest generation of Civic ever built, and we can all agree there. Like, I don't think there's any hiding that, you know? They're not the best-looking cars. But they're still pretty good for their price. They come with a 1.7 liter inline four, making 115 horsepower, and it is front wheel drive. It's just like every other Civic too, so it's still as reliable. It's still just as cheap. It still has just as good of a motor. You can tune it to make even more power. The only downside with this Civic is that it doesn't look as good as the other ones. Who cares though? Who really cares? You could even find a coupe seventh gen civic under one thousand dollars that's how cheap these cars are right now it's 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 absolutely mind-blowing if you want just an absolute budget bargain bottom of the barrel just to get you to work and back on time or get you to school and back on time car then in my opinion the civic civic seventh generation for under one thousand dollars is a pretty decent option but ladies and gentlemen that is the end of today's video of the best sedans for every budget out there i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please be sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this also if you guys enjoyed this sort of new sub series idea that i have going on let me know and let me know what other uh videos that you'd like to see it on i could do like trucks hatchbacks coupes convertibles poop brown colored cars for under different price ranges i could do whatever you want to see okay baby that's my name mark roden do it all that's what they call me in the in, in the sheets Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Das Vidanya. Have a nice night.